Hello. Hello, John. You're on the stream while I reconfigure for the fizz. So oh, okay, uh, very good. a minute or two and we'll be ready to do a show. Uh, excellent. What show is that that we're going to do? Guys and, uh, guys and guys and gals. Guy, guys guys and dolls. Yeah, guys dolls, and dolls, dolls. Dolls and Barbies. I don't know. And gals, right. Hey, Loke, hey, Empty Pockets, Spill in Michigan, Genthman, Gumby, Redacted Stooge, TI-83, George Davis, hi, hi, Gumby. Thank you. Do the family affair. I've been seeing Shatner in lots of old TV movies and such. Night Gallery. Somebody, um, somebody just on Facebook said that a line he loved that he never forgot was, I did Starbleck for Mad. And Captain Kirk is talking to Spock. And he says something um, to which Spock is kind of amazed and said, Captain, I can't believe my ears. And Kirk says, I can't believe your ears either. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jamma B. No gears. No, no, yeah. Uh, Dennis and I are going to a christening. I don't know what it is. It's just that a lot of family members who live around the country are coming to Osning, New York. And so everybody's vaccinated and it's outdoors. So we are going to that. We're <laughs> Ranger Rick says, we're all ears here. All right. I'm going to inspect them. So be careful. And Jamie B, if you think of it, would you remind Leo next Saturday that I'm doing my spot Sunday? I will. Okay. I, 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 when I asked him, he said, you can do any Sunday you want because we have no one in that slot. We're taking a Trieste, taking a train up the Hudson River. Actually, I, I like the trip. It's short. It's like uh, we're going to grab an express, so it's only 45 minutes. Uh, I have a brother... That's about it. Riding that train, high on Nova Kane. What is that from, Redacted? That's uh, Grateful Dead. Oh. Hey, Roberto. Casey Jones is the name of that song. Okay, so um, I got the recordings going. Oh, let's put the TriCaster on the stream so they can actually see what we're doing. Okay. Do Get that on the stream. Get it on the stream. Okay. It so on now, the stream. now, oh, my, my camera's not turned on. That's why that is dark. So sometime okay. during the pictures, I'll go over to the other side and turn my camera on. Okay. Uh, we can look at the, uh, we can look at the studio. Hey, there's the studio. Hi, studio. All right. So if everybody saw the studio, that means the TriCaster is on the stream. And I am recording. And we have George's pictures. And I have a video of uh, one of your favorite moments from the match game. Excellent, and excellent. I'll call up Alex later on. Perfect. Okay, so let's slate this sucker and make it go. Today is Saturday. Okay, this is the Giz Fizz, episode 481, recorded Saturday, June, uh, 18. June 18th, 2022, and it... Begins in three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... It's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Whiz. It's kind of like Cheese Whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt Mattis Ryder and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to regular, old-fashioned Giz Fizz with double harps. 
And now let's meet our host. Oh, wait a minute. I am the host. Okay. So welcome to Giz Fizz. We will first push the crowds back and pick out the one single person. Let me look over everybody here. Okay, you are chat room celebrity of the week. Yes, you. That Yeah, no, the other cricket. The cricket next to you. No, not you. The cricket next... Oh, all right. Forget it. We won't have a chat room celebrity of the week unless, no, we do not. But you know what? Um, last night at the Society of Illustrators, Angelo Torres is a mad artist. And they asked me to write something about him. And I said, you know, I have to refresh my memory of things Angie and I worked on. So I went to madcoversite.com, I hit search, typed in Dick D. Bartolo, and Doug had told me this, of course I called Doug and said, how do I find out, I know how to find everything I've written, how do I find out everything I've written and Ange illustrated? And he said, go to your search site, uh, search for you, then everything you've written will come up, and then click search again, and put in Angelo's name. So it turns out Angelo and I did 96 pieces together for Mad. Wow. And wrote a, uh, a Mad paperback book, Mad About TV. Um, anyway, and I said, you know, Doug, I, I do Giz, this thing, Giz Fizz, and I've, I've watched it from time to time. I said, when you get back to wherever, uh, he lives in Portland, Oregon, I said, I'm going to have you on as chat room Celebrity Week, and you can tell us <laughs> why you invested this time. I, I mean, for years, we would have to go to the Mad Library and thumb through issues try, when they wanted to repeat something. Some of John would say, well, find out how many times we did this and in what issues. And no one at Mad was organized enough to... <laughs> to have a database. So they would just search truths uh, through issues. But once Doug started, that was the go-to place for mad stuff. So in a couple of weeks, we will have a chat room celebrity of the week. Woo. But mean t yes, meantime, we're going to start with photos from George Davis that you, yes, you, you in the chat room will caption Okay, photo number one. Wow, it's a statue. Either the, uh, I don't know if the wall's part of the statue, but it looks like two people kind of crawl. Let me let's see what George put. Listening. Oh, okay, all right. George said, two people listening through a brick wall. I wasn't sure if the wall was part of the sculpture, but I guess it is. So it's two bronze figures with their ears to a brick wall. Uh, listening at the wall. They're talking about us, right? All the ears are listening. Mona Lisa's ex-husband. Hi, Mac. How are you? I told you they were fighting next door. I think I hear a train coming. <laughs> Stoic Squirrel said they're eavesdropping on the mice. Uh, see, I told you it was super glue. Oh, that's funny. Uh, I hear you knocking. I think I can hear the Sonos. Listeners of the Brick House, 2089. People left the Brick House at Twit. Builder said this wall is sound. I don't hear anything. Oh, that's very funny, RF guy. Talking Heads concert backstage. Yup, I have that ear infection. Snoop much? Uh, must have been really a windy day to get two statues matched to a wall, mashed to a wall. The walls have ears. I think I broke my arm listening to this wall. Another there gossiping about us. I've fallen and I can't get up. They stopped fighting. I told you they'd make up just outside Sodom and Gomorrah. I think I hear them tunneling through the jail wall now. And we'll end with Mandy the Clown. I think I hear a nuclear bomb. Ugh. Okay, George said, for the two people listening through a brick wall, I don't believe it, Betty. 
that singer sounds like Elvis Presley, right? Okay. Photo Before two. Before we get to photo two, I'm sorry I have to yes. interrupt, but oh dear, this photo reminded me of one of my fa- a little bit of one of my very favorite things in the world, and here it is. Is there anybody out there? Is there anybody out there? Obviously, there was nobody out there. No, and if it was, they wouldn't have cut to me drinking so fast. Um, (laughs) Dwindle said, it's scary, make it stop. Uh, Okay, George's photo is photo two. Oh, let me change it to the next one. There it is. Oh, oh, oh. (laughs) Uh, a hint of photoshopping. It is a man up to his waist in water who has just caught Jaws or a big shark. A man uh, in foul weather gear, so he doesn't get wet, (laughs) is... Got a fishing rod and has just hooked a giant shark who looks very much like Jules. God, those teeth are frightening on a shark. Um, This is why we don't go to the beach. Not shark NATO. It's a shark tsunami. For the last time, get off my lawn. I think we're going to need a bigger pole. They'll never believe this fish story. Uh... I think we needed a bigger pole. I think we need a fishing, bigger fishing rod. You stole my fish. I shouldn't have used that new fly. Uh, who do you think is going to have dinner? Jaws caught fishing. The saga is over. Oh, that's funny. Catch of the day, says the shark. Honey, get the frying pan ready. Fisherman for supper. I think I saw this movie, Jaws 6. Look, kids, we have dinner tonight. Dad, yours. That's a friendly fish, right? Oh, wow. I'm in shock. I'm in shock. Read out loud. Okay. Uh, Man catches a singing shark. Last time I used that Velcro fly. Shark surfing the wave. I think we are going to need a bigger diaper. Knock, knock. Who's there? Land shark. Earthworms, that's all I use. Bullwinkle says, I don't know my own strength. I think I wet myself. The fishing pole salesman was not exaggerating. This, folks, is how fish catch men. This is a tough way to get shark fin soup. Bass my... Rhymes with bass. Dinner time. Jaws 23. (laughs) <laughs> the shark makes it look fake. Little Timmy makes the best bait. Oh, my God. Fishing in Maryland. Fisherman for dinner. And we'll end with... Uh, Trem has had a working title as Land Shark. Okay. And George said... For man fishing with a shark on his line, I'm only using a five-pound test line. Perhaps I have a slight chance of bringing this guy in. And someone someone in one of those uh, comments reminded me of a short I saw. And it's a man fishing and catching fish after fish. And he's looking around. He looks in his lunchbox and his lunchbox is empty. And he looks down on the beach and he sees a candy bar. So he grabs the candy bar, starts eating the candy bar, and suddenly out of the side of his cheek comes a hook. And then the line tightens and the line is pulling him back into the ocean. And then we see him being pulled in until he's gone. And I thought... God, this is, what an amazing thing. I'm going to see who wrote that. And 
at the end of it, it says, story written by Al Felstein and William M. Gaines. <laughs> so, <laughs> William M. Gaines was founder of Mad Magazine and also creator of Tales of the Crypt. Really? If you ever were hooked on that series, end credit, you'll see William M. Gaines. And Al Felstein was a mad editor for years. Uh, okay, photo number three. Oh, oh, I love donkeys. Oh, my God. It's a big donkey and a woman petting a baby donkey. Big donkey, woman petting a baby dunking. Sounds like a story from PETA. Yeah, if they knew about that, they'd probably use it. Or maybe they have. Uh, baby so fuzzy. Aww. Is it a donkey or a burrow? Aren't they the same? Uh, uh. I am Don Quixote, Lord of La Mancha. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to stop playing with that A-S blank. Donkey to the other donkey. Human petting time. Uh, don't just monkey, just don't donkey around. Uh, next time, let's make one that has some legs. Um, this one, uh, this one will make great bait for picture two. All right, lady, just ignore me for the cute one. The ladies love a jackass. Okay, you can let go now. I guess I shouldn't have used that donkey glue. A lot of glue stuff today. Donkey glue on my hands. Donkeys are bigger, says Swiftbird. So Burrows a little. Um, our new donkey donuts mascot. Uh, three donkeys, two, soul, uh, two mules for Sister Sarah. I wish I were young like him. He's actually really smart. A burrow is a donkey, horse and sterile. What? A burrow is a donkey slash horse and sterile, I think. Uh, that's, donkey a, donk? that's a mule. That's a mule? Okay. Saddle up. The kids are here. Um... I want to go to the Grand Canyon. Something burrowed. Oh, okay. Something blue. Something burrowed. Burrito. Lady hands off my baby. Shrek voice. May I borrow your burrow? Is that a mule? That's a mule. Mr. Ed's nephew. Two donkey cuties. Could be a filly. Nice donkeys. Do you have any to burrow? Oh, my God. The donkey wants to burrow a dollar. <laughs> uh, burrows are smaller wild horses. These are pygmies. Two donkeys and a filly. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Jamma B, you are right. What? That's what it says. Bill in Michigan. Bill, Jamma B, you are right. I was thinking mule. Oh, I love those thinking mules. Okay. Donkey. All right, let's see. George said, for a young lady hugging a small donkey, uh, my caption is, you guys stand still for a little bit and I'll get you some apples. They're a nice treat. Okay. No, I, no. Chicken Head says, no, you're more of an ass than a mule, Jamma B. Oh, no, that's not directed toward ah. you. Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, photo four. Whoa. A really modern build apartment, okay? Two square boxes with a big square box on top. And the front is all glass. All glass bedroom, all glass living room, and all glass bedroom. <laughs> I just saw one from the old picture go by. I think it was from Mandy. Uh, a woman with two asses. Uh, okay, Cubist lifestyle. Uh, house where square people live. Don't throw stones. 
Frank Lloyd Wrong. House in the Middle got an upgrade. Millionaire's Happy Meal, No Neighbors. Paul, a pool view estate. Ah, are the toilets all glass too? Rooms with a view. Do these, these do float. When I bought this Ikea house, I got a year of free meatballs. I feel boxed in here. Scooter X Pavilion. Red District in the Mountains. They're taking shipping containers too far. Oh, a lot of another another uh, log said creative use of shipping containers. T- a tiny condo, Hollywood Squares. Surprisingly, the pool is glass. Square design with no curves. Circle gets the square. <laughs> Raven said, "Paint it white so it can withstand a nuclear attack." Container store now sells houses exhibitionists and will end with when your contractor gets his license from Tetris. Uh, Okay, George said for two tiny apartments oh, he he said they're each an apartment. Two tiny apartments with huge windows. My caption is we're going to move the bedroom upstairs We'll get a better view of the mountains in the east. Um, Okay. Photo 5. Wow. Lighthouse. On the side of of a mountain. And cows. Lighthouse. I guess a, a, a mansion or a farm behind the lighthouse. And cows. Um, let's have lunch here. Windows 7, desktop background, option 2. They're not cows, they're mules. No, I say they're cows. Um, lighthouse in the middle. So I can push you off the cliff. The hills are alive with the sound of, oh God. Uh, Pink Floyd album cover. I think this is near Cornwall. Patrick left to mow that lawn and hasn't been seen since. Move over. And yet you can still hear the neighbor's leaf blower. (laughs) Lighthouse on the prairie. Uh, This is where I wish I lived. Watch your step. The next step is a doozy. I know the light's been burned out for years, but I'm telling you, this nuclear flashlight I found online can fix it. RF guy, it's very funny. Whose turn is it to mow the cliff? No need to mow the backyard. There's cattle power. Uh, Don't drop your bowling ball here. When Dick tried to see the park with his five nuclear blast flashlight, the UFO see the flash, uh, see the lighthouse, and then abduct. Coos? Uh, looks like a nice painting. Cows, says Mandy. Lighthouse for wagon trains. The lights are on, but no one's home. And we'll end with Windows XP wallpaper is now in the Hoth. All right, George said, for the lighthouse on some property with a few cattle... My caption is, I'll be working the lighthouse, but my wife will be running the cattle ranch. She loves animals. Um, Okay, photo six of six. Six of six. Oh, okay, a highway. Wow, a... A highway with a lot of... A dippy highway. A dippy highway in the desert. All right. Black tar or macadam highway. And lots of desert on each side. Undulating highway. Wavy gravy highway. We're on the highway. My way or the highway. We're on a road to nowhere. Las Vegas is 100 miles. This road is making me seasick. Highway that went to the lowest bidder. Going to be a bumpy ride. 
Speed limit 88. Is this a highway or a roller coaster? Highway to beige. It's more than a double dip. Carmel Hop Avenue. Road to Burning Man. The road is actually straight. <laughs> the road is straight. The massage is wavy. Uh, so hot the highway has warped. Highway to hell. Uh, oh, they're going fell. Oh, so oh, so hot the roll the road is wrinkled. Speed bumps next sixty miles. Let's wait here until the earthquake stops. Uh, San Andreas Highway. Dolly's Melting Highway Painting, Dukes of Hazard Dream. These new carpet roads just aren't the same. Autobahn. Next time, we won't build the road on the St. Andreas Fault. <laughs> Gumby says, yeah, but the schools are great. Warped Road, next 100 miles, and we'll end with Highway Built by a Ribbon Candy Designer, says D. Claire. Okay. George said, for the rolling highway out in the desert, my caption is, when we were driving out here, my kids always say, go faster, Daddy, go faster. It's like being on a roller coaster. Uh, we did get some roller coasters, George. That was good. Dick, have the chat room try to guess these answers. Okay. Uh, chat room, what was the very first telegraphed message? What was the very first telegraphed message? You know, we got some good answers. I like 42, banana, <laughs> true, and Mary had a little lamb. Uh... Can you hear me? Watson, come here. <laughs> the first message was, just play shipping and handling. Like you up? Pizza. Can you hear me? Dot, dot, dot. Are you there? I'm falling I can't get up. Oh, two. I'm falling I can't get up. Uh, gone fishing. Call me back after 9 p.m. Minutes are free. I'm a Nigerian prince. That's very funny. New Telegraph, who's this? I have a pepperoni, extra cheese. And J286 has the winner. Uh, your car warranty has expired. <laughs> That's very... <laughs> Send nudes. Watson, what are you wearing? That's very funny. We tried to reach you about your car's warranty. Oh, no, my no. God. Your auto warranty has expired. Uh, first telegraph message was, we just need your credit card number. We need to upgrade your cable boxes. Uh, you guys are very funny. Uh, let's see what it is. Okay, the very first telegraph message was, What had God wrought? Wow, that's, a weird what that's a pretty weird had message. What God wrought? <laughs> yeah. So was like, did you get this? Testing yeah. one, testing two. Are you <laughs> impressed? Can you hear me now? Yes, there you go. There's the mm. one. <laughs> what was the first message shared over a telephone line? What was the first message shared over a telephone line? Oh. A little more famous. Yeah. <laughs> Watson, I'm naked. That's very funny. Watson, I need you. Come here, Watson, I need you. Hello, didn't exist then. Watson, I need you. Little lamb, I like to order an Uber. Can't use caps. Watson, <laughs> Watson have you seen my keys? The number you're trying to reach is not in service. Your call is important to us. This is very funny. Your Amazon account has been hacked. I'm sorry you have reached my answering service. Leave a message. Your call warranty is expired. Don't plug this in yet. Walda, come here. Watson, you're looking cute today. It's the IRS and you're about to be arrested. 
SOS help. It's a boy. Watson, I spilled acid in my pants. Well, you want to replace your cable boxes. Send us $5. <laughs> no, yes. Okay. Um, George said, what was the very first message shared over a telephone line? Oh, a lot of you have, a lot of you have closer habit. The very first message shared over a telephone line was, Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. All right. So a lot of you were very close or right on. And then if Watson uh, shows up, he knows the phone worked. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know if this is true or not. What was the first message typed on a typewriter keyboard? What was the first message? Uh, I bet it was about a quick brown fox. Typed on a keyboard. QWERTY means what? It was the best of times. It was the blurst of times. Quick brown fox. Uh, QWERTY. Did you get this? Rome is burning. Another quick brown fox. Another, another. <laughs> Dear whom it may concern. Another quick brown fox. What the heck is a QWERTY? Quirt. Hello world. QWERTY. Whatever that monkey typed, it was brilliant. Faster, faster. Where's my touch screen? Mommy made me match my M&Ms. Every good boy desires favor. Myra, any idea? Hello world. Hello. Hello world. Hello world. Jamma B. Uh, I forgot. Oh, okay. Well, actually, I remember, and you, you had it right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the first message typed on a typewriter was, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Brown dog? I think it's a brown dog. Uh, and you know why, Dick? It had every alphabet. You do know why. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, had every letter of the alphabet. Okay. Um, oh, wow, four this week. What was the date and year the first text message was sent? And what did it say? This is interesting. Wow. All right, you, you can answer any part of that. Oh, what? June? Oh. <laughs> June 14th, January 1st, 1970. They made all that up. All right, I think the date's going to be hard. Let's play for what was the first text message ever sent? What was the first text message ever sent? You'll never guess where I am. Lazy yellow dog. Hello, world. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Are you near your phone? Text message. What's today's date? What? M8. Send money. Baby, I'm sorry. Can you read this? Can you pick up the phone? Merry Christmas. 1991. Ka-ching. Of course, I still love you, Watson. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their party. Uh, first thing sent on the planet was low, and it crashed before gin. Can you read me now? Okay. Uh, Jamie B., any guesses? No, but I'm very interested. Uh, Myra, any guess? I had a clue. Okay. The first date, the date and the year and the first text message sent was done on December 3rd, 1992, and the text message was Merry Christmas in all caps. Hmm, shouting. Merry Christmas in all caps. George, these are great. Uh, we're off next week, correct? There's no Giz Fizz next week.
So everybody stay happy, and I'll see you when we get together again with more facts and photos. Thank you, George. All right. So Leo was talking about awards earlier, and at the warehouse I found... Dun, 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 dun. And I knew why I saved it. Well, also, I, I found some of this disappointing because um, Outstanding Game Show, no match game. Hollywood Squares, Password, Jeopardy. Best Host or Hostess. Mike Douglas, Merv Griffin, Barbara Walters. Oh, that's for a variety show. Best host of a game show. Peter Marshall, Alan Ludden, Art Fleming. No Rayburn. All right. But then I, the reason I saved it was uh, best writing for a game show uh, was the, the writers of Hollywood Squares, the writers of Jeopardy, and the writers of Match Game. So it was Robert Sherman, Patrick Neary, Joe Newstein, and Dick D. Bartolo. Yeah, correct. We did not win. And that was the year they introduced that category and the only year that category was ever used. Uh, okay. Ta -da! So I had several guests here today from uh, the show last night, so I didn't get to pre-pick Lotto, so we're just going to play him out of the box. Dun -dun. What does the DSC interspersed between two raises stand for? Is there no category for this? What, what, what game are we playing? We're playing... Logo, okay. Logo? So we're looking... We're, that's a logo. Oh, okay. It's, it's a logo. Oh, there's no category. What does DSC intersperse between two razors... Oh, okay. I got this. Mm. Don't shave. Crap all one. Uh, not a lot of people. What does not a lot of people DSC seem to know this. <laughs> intersperse okay. between two raises and for <laughs> Verse Angel may be right, but Chicken Head. <laughs> Don't shave. <laughs> Don't shave close. Dollar Shave Club. Don't shave crotch. That's very funny. Um, Don't show blank. Shave, Dollar Shave Club. Donkey Starts Cooking. Dick Shave Club. Don't Shave Cat. What was your answer, Jamie B? Well, I, I'm, the, I believe the chat room, Merce Angel, got it first. Dollar, Sla Dollar Shave Club sounds like a good answer. You with that, Myra? Myra, okay. Myra, it sounds good. It know. sounds good. Okay. It is indeed Dollar Shave Club. Uh, what company uses design for driving pleasure? What company uses designed for driving pleasure? <laughs> what? Whoa, yeah, I know. I know. I know. Look at this. Look at this. What a chat room this is. What a chat room this is. My God. Yugos? No. Pinto? I doubt it. Bob's Jackhammers. Designed for driving pleasure. Uh, uh, um. Mm, mm, mm. Jamma B, any guess? I don't have a guess, but I found out by searching it on YouTube. Oh, okay. Uh, we have, I believe, oh, just one correct answer. Okay, let's see the video answer. When you start the engine, when you see the dials dance, 
Wow. When you feel its power. Wow. As the wheels turn, the car grips the road and your heartbeat follows. <laughs> oh, Jesus. When you weave through the twists and turns, when it's nothing but you, the ultimate driving machine and the road ahead. Oh my God. No. And your heart it stops the when they say, seat. it's $50 for parking for the first hour. It is BMW. Great video reveal. Excellent. Um, what country has a flag that has a maple leaf? <laughs> country with a flag with a maple leaf finally finally one i know <laughs> pack nw says that's a sweet car not maple syrup <laughs> but we get a lot of it there okay myra it is indeed canada jamma b you knew that you said right i blame canada Okay. What Spanish artist designed Chooper Choops logo? <laughs> Spanish designer designed the Chooper Chump Chups logo? Uh, the only Spanish artist I know is Frida uh, Kahlo. So I'm sure that's uh, not right. Uh, 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 Speedy <laughs> Gonzalez. Uh, Cheech Marin. It's C-H-U-P-A, C-H-U-P-S logo. We got a right, we have a right answer going. Oh, Sergio Aragonis, that's great. Uh, you want to give a guess, Jimmy B? Uh, no. Myra? Frida, Frida Kahlo. That's my guess. Salvador Dali. It, it is indeed Salvador Dali. Wow. It is. <laughs> yeah. What, 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 is is a, what is a chupa chup? What, what, what are we talking about? What is? <laughs> I don't know. Look, look it up. C-H-U-P-A. C-H-U-P-S. Is I, got, it, I got nothing. Nothing came up? Well, not on YouTube, but let me do a general search. Yeah, someone dug M. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's see what it looks like. You needed Salvador Dali to design that? What? Hey, I've never heard of this. This is pretty weird. <laughs> what did he design? But I mean... What, what, what part of this was, was the design? I, yeah, exactly. What are you kidding? There must be some guy named something. I just going to say... I mean... I don't know. Boy, oh boy. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 what do we have? Oh, okay. Well, okay, we're going to do our snappy answers thing, and then we're going to do... Here we go. Uh, oh, first we'll do our... <laughs> I didn't even know there was such a thing. Okay. We're, we're going to play for it, but I'll show you the picture. The most pizza rolls across the shoulder in 30 seconds. Tostinos? No, no, no. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking that's got to be a mess, rolling pizza rolls. So it's uncooked pizza dough, okay? I the most pizza I roll. Can... And, and, when, and, and when I say rolls, they mean this one pizza shell. How many times... What's the record for rolling it back and forth across your shoulders? All right. I took a guess because I wanted to see what the hell they were talking about. And I was close but wrong. All right. So, you know, the guy throws the pizza in the air and spins it around. 
Then he takes it after he spun it around and he rocks and rolls it across his shoulders. How many times in 30 seconds? Magoo says, can we see a video of this? 20, 20, 30, 20, 24, 14, 75, 45, 40. <laughs> and Gumby says, eh, it takes 40 <laughs> seconds to get it out of your hair. Uh, we need to see a video. I want a video. I want a video. Myra, what's your what's your guess? Um, well, I guess twenty, but twenty. I don't know. Jeremy B, what was your guess? Ten. Ten. Okay, my guess was Jamie twenty-eight. Tolliver. Because I thought maybe you could do it in in, a, in in one second. So my guess would have been 30. But I thought I'll do 28. Okay. Most pizza rolls across the shoulders. On April 20th, 2006, Tony Giamani rolled a 20-ounce ball of dough across his shoulders 37 times wow. in 30 seconds. Wow. Wow. Is that the flat pizza like or is that a okay. ball of pizza? So, I'm do that again. Kidding. Oh, okay. Oh! No. What you're doing is you're going to kind of reach out and grab it as, it as it comes over your elbow. You'll reach out and grab it. Okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's easy. Oh, well, well now that and you told us. you're basically trying to touch your thumb. I always like to think of touching my thumb to the back of my neck. <clears throat> that's going to be the release. Right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's easy. Oh, yeah. The, well, now that we know how to the do description it. Said, the description said ball of dough? Yeah. yeah. Which is... Yeah, I know. I didn't read that part. Yeah, and uh, it wasn't in the... Uh, the yeah, the uh, question. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, this guy's pretty... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah, I, think, I think he's showing us how, almost how touching not to do it. The back of your... <laughs> That's pretty amazing, though. Yeah, I'd like wow. to, I'd like, right I'd like to see, your, your, like to see yeah. him do it as fast as he can, one after one right after another. Yeah. Because I guess if you're okay. going really You know, could fast, you make a different pizza for me? Could you give that pizza yeah, to someone I, I'm else? Sorry, I, I want the thick crust. Can I get Chicago style? <laughs> just for a change. You know, I, I live with New York, but just for a change. That's very funny. That's very funny. Um, okay, we're going to do snappy answers to stupid questions. Oh, let me cover Jaffe's answer. Oh, a bunch of uh, usual gang of idiots who were in town um, went over to Jaffe's house. Al Jaffe, who is now 101. Um, I, I didn't go because I wanted the people who came in for this uh, thing last night to have some time with Al themselves. Um, but they said he's in great shape. Uh, all right, so the question, all right, so the guy has all tons of luggage he's bringing out to his uh, van. And the neighbor says, going on a trip. And we see like eight suitcases already out there. And the man coming out the door with two more. Going on a trip. And the, your snappy answer is... Um, no, I deliver suitcases. No, I'm planting suitcases. Uh, no, I'm a luggage salesman. No, spring cleaning. No, my wife is. No, getting rid of a body. Yes, so is your family, piece by piece. Backing up the wife, smuggling drugs. Um, God, they're fast. Uh, no, you are. Testing suitcases. No, just airing out my luggage. No, I'm a thief cl cleaning out this house. No, I just sold my suitcases. No, selling the house a suitcase at a time. <laughs> Web 5499. No, I have an appointment with my money launderer. No, I'm sending her away in pieces. Sending a lot of sending the wife away. Uh, more wives. Uh, no, I sell suitcases door to door. 
Yes, and I'll trip in about five steps. Uh, yep, I'm going on a trip, a round trip from my house to my car and back. No, nope, chopped up the family. Nah, just like to carry luggage around with me. Uh, you'll never know, but ask your wife if you can find her parts. No, I'm going to bury the past in my suitcases. No, I'm a baggage handler for this family. No, I'm playing suitcase Jenga. Yes, and I'm leaving on a jet plane. Yes, and I'll see you next fall. Okay, all right. Let's see if anybody matched Al Jaffe. Um, are you going on a trip? No, I'm starting a luggage shop. No, I'm a gigolo, and these are some of the old bags I have to take out. No, I'm just taking my belongings out for a drive in the country. And then the person, I bought this used on YouTube, on, on uh, eBay. Uh, oh, 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 that's very funny. The, the person who sold the book said, no, I'm using my suitcases to play hopscotch. All right. So let us uh, ring for Dennis. Oh, I, oh, I called Dennis. Uh, this came up. You know, the memories come up. And it's this two-minute clip. I, I'm sure we've done it before. With Lauren Bacall uh, saying that she's in love with me. And then at the end, if you can stop the video, I'll sort of explain how questions were picked for the match game and how we had to change it from standards and practices. Uh, okay, so here is a little two-minute video with Lauren Bacall. Oh, yeah, that was funny. I, I looked for this clip for 45 years, and I found it. Is the amount we're talking about. Now let's meet our celebrities and begin, shall we? Here's a well-known motion picture star and a marvelous game player and one of our favorite celebrity team captains, Lauren Bacall. Today we have for you Mrs. Peg du uh, Bubar there of Darien, Connecticut, and that's Mr. John Kirkman, uh, hello. Norwalk, Connecticut. Please be seated. You may be seated. <laughs> Lauren is staring at Dickie Bartolo, who sits over here on my left. And He's been my secret passion. <laughs> He's your secret passion? Yes. He is an attractive uh, young fellow there. You first. Dick, and me first. <laughs> Dick is a fellow who writes all of the questions. How many questions have you it. written in the six years we've been on the air? 25,000 questions he's written since we've been on the air. And he still comes up with new ones. And he does. He keeps coming up with new ones all the time. We'll find out which new ones a little bit later. Now, good luck to <laughs> Lauren. <Yeah. laughs> comes out and says, <laughs> say, <laughs> he comes out and trips. All right, over there we have Bill Oliver. Hello. Bill Oliver. And uh, Cheryl Mathias. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you can follow that, you're crazy. This is something. <laughs> oh, okay, anyway. That was a very uh, good And I did, that's right, empty pockets. And you didn't win an Emmy. Uh, anyway, that board that was on the table had all the match game questions on it. And I uh, was in contact with Gene Copelman, the producer in the control room. And the reason that standards and practices said you can't do that anymore is... There you go. Thank you. So the questions... A, lot, a bunch of questions are uh, in, on that board. And if no one is matching... 
Gene said, Dick, let's get something easy because this show is going down the drain. And I said, how about uh, Mary so-and-so? And And Gene said, "Uh, okay, do that one. And then I would hand the card to a stagehand, and then the stagehand would uh, put it on a stick. (laughs) It was so funny. The stick had a big paper clip on the end, and then the stagehand would fold, fold the card over not not with a fold, but just bend it over and stick it in a little wooden tunnel. And the card would, he'd push the card and the card would then go out onto Gene's podium. And since the card was folded over, when it got to the end of the tunnel, it would pop up. And matching that was a sound effects guy with an old fashioned cash register. And he would grind the register <laughs> so it sounded like it was a machine. And then when it popped up, he just hit a bell. There you go, like that, exactly. And, and that's how it worked. And then stand into practice, he said, no, you're controlling the game. And so when the game went out to Hollywood, the, an A and B question would come up. And the contestant would, they took turns picking A or B, okay? And so that way, it was more luck than anything. All right, so that's how Match Game worked. So, Dick, um, the things, were like I see rows of 10, are those the actual cards we're looking at? You know what they are, but they're, 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 they're small. They're, small. Yeah, they, they, I'm not quite sure how that how we did that because are they already folded because you, you don't want them to be already no folded. no you you're absolutely spring. right you're absolutely right i i have an idea that the cards are stuck up under each other so ah, that there's a bunch ah, okay it's, it's, we're not we're only seeing the top part of the card yeah, exactly. So that wow. I can, and all, I, I can, I pre-look. If if I see the first three people are <laughs> giving bizarre answers, I I start looking quickly, and and, and also controlling the Gene game. before you're just basically before controlling it, the game. Yeah, and before we show, Gene would quickly look at the cards we had picked. So that when I would say, how about the thing about the going to town? She said, I'll do that. So, I mean, it wasn't really fixing the game. It was more trying to make the game enjoyable for, uh, for the audience. Uh, okay. Uh, um. Oh, here comes Dennis. Oh, wait, do we have Alex? Uh, we do. Okay, great. Um, okay, as I said... Some of these questions could be repeats because uh, I picked them quickly. Hey, Charlie. Uh, Mary said, that new fortune teller is weird. I'm not sure I should trust her. She tells fortunes by looking into a blank ball. Mary said, I don't trust that new fortune teller. She tells fortunes by looking into a blank ball. Oh, I got a great answer, but probably no matches. Uh, uh, uh. Let me see if anybody, I match anybody. Mm, no. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, eight, okay. Beach, Magic 8. Oh, Magic 8, a good answer. A gumball, Wrecking Ball. Um... Uh, okay, Alex. Alex is here, right? Yes. Alex, we're going to start with you. I don't. Mary said I don't trust that new fortune teller. She doesn't use a crystal ball. She tells fortunes looking into a bowling ball right off the bat. You got a match uh, from Travis, and oh, thank God, someone finally matched me. Uh, Jamma B, don't trust her. She uses a blank ball. You and Mandy. G- golf ball. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Myra said, don't trust her. She uses a... Oh, you just got a match. Myra said she uses a matzo ball. And Dennis said, oh, I don't think you got any matches. That's a good answer. She uses a snowball. Oh, oh. Just saved by the bell, Morgus. Turn that into a ding, Jamma B. 
Um, thank you. And I got a match too. She does it by looking into a meatball. It's an Italian uh, fortune teller. Um, Mary said, I've heard of destination weddings, but this is ridiculous. It's an invitation to a wedding on the blank. Mary said, I've heard of destination weddings. This is ridiculous. I just got a wedding invitation to a wedding on the blank. I'm just going to put down a funny answer and get no matches. I've been invited to a wedding on the blank. Um... Uh, on the Hindenburg, on the moon, on the subway. Oh, I got it. I got some matches. On top of old Smokey, on the planet Mars, on the Gizface show, Purgatory, the Voss show, Titanic, uh, and, uh, Arctic, and the Arctic, on Judge Judy in a boring tunnel. All right, so we'll start with Dennis. Heard of destination? You haven't got one? Okay, haven't heard of, I've heard of destination weddings. This is ridiculous. Uh, an invitation to a wedding on the... Myra got a lot of matches. On the moon. I thought I got no matches, but I got at least two. A wedding on the Titanic. Jamma B, you said a wedding on... The moon, a lot of matches. And Alex, a wedding on the ocean floor. Um, Harry said they're I making everything out of fiberglass. I just bought a fiberglass motorbike. And Harry said, that's nothing. I've got a fiberglass blank. Harry said they're making everything out of fiberglass. I just bought a fiberglass motorcycle. And Harry said, that's nothing. I've got a fiberglass blank. Um, all right, I'm mild, but I might get some matches. Let's see if people are gonna do naughty answers. I got a fiberglass submarine, trousers. I got a fiberglass bride, wife. Oh, that's fun. Charlie, not yet. We have two more questions and then you. Two more questions and then you, okay? A uh, fiberglass hairpiece, toupee. Oh, that's a, that's a good answer. A fiberglass, wow, well, a lot of wife answers. Boob, fiberglass woohoo, fiberglass house, fiberglass blanket, fiberglass boat tank. All right, Jamie B, we'll start with you. Making everything out of fiberglass. I have a fiberglass motorbike. Harry said, I got a fiberglass knee. No, no, no matches. Um, I don't think I got any matches either. Uh, Alex, you said fiberglass. Johnson. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't think I got any matches. I got a fiberglass scooter. No, I don't think no matches. Myra? Oh, uh, Raven. did you have any matches? Yeah, Raven match. Oh, Raven did it too. Fiberglass eye. Charlie, two more, and then you, okay? And Dennis said, <laughs> you matched Alex. I have a fiberglass willy. Okay. Uh, Jack, uh, Jack said, this is the most powerful vacuum I ever used. I just vacuumed the living room, and now I can't find my blank. Most powerful vacuum I've ever used. I vacuumed the living room, and now I can't find my blank. I suspect there will be matches. Uh, my remote control. My couch, <laughs> I, can't, I can't find my fiberglass willy, uh, can't find the cat, my boobs, my shoes, my self-esteem, my next door neighbor, 
My, now I can't find my vacuum. Uh, I will start with Dennis. The most powerful vacuum I've ever used. I vacuumed the living room, and now I can't find my... Oh, I can't find my feet. Okay, I think he did get a match. Charlie, one more question and then you. I can't find my flashlight. Kind of an inside joke. Uh, I said I can't find my wife. Jamma B, you said I can't find my carpet. Oh, that's a that's a very good. Yes, that's a very good. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's see. Okay. And Alex said I can't find my TV. You got some matches too. Very good. Um, all right. I just had another thing of questions. Let me see where I put them. Uh, uh, um. Oh, here they are. Oh, no, that was it. When John heard he had spam on his computer, he went out and bought blank. When John heard that he had spam on his computer, he went out and got some blank. Charlie, after this question. Okay. <laughs> Charlie, you'll be on in a moment. Go to the green room. There's kibbles in the green room. Uh, oh, 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 okay. I, fortunately, I got a match. But someone has a very good answer because someone has a very Monty Python answer. Uh, let's see, who didn't we start with? Uh, we started with, oh, I guess we didn't start with Myra. Uh, when John heard he had spam on his computer, he went out and got some. Oh, we got a frying pan. Oh, Gumby, there's a match there. Uh, Dennis, he went out. Oh, okay. When he heard spam on the computer, he went out and got mustard. A lot of matches. And another match, he went out and got mustard. Jamma B went out and got Vikings. Monty mm. Python? Um, and Alex went out and I got... The, I missed the question. Oh, okay. Well, well you can make up an answer now. Um, when John heard there was spam on his computer, he went out and got some... Uh, the bread. Bread. Okay, that's good. Roll would have been a good answer, too. Okay. But it's, de it's dead wrong. Okay, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it is time. Oh, my God. He's so excited. Hang on, Charlie. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Okay. Okay, Charlie. Time for Charlie the dog. Okay, let me see if I can leave, leave your tail free. Okay. Oh, boy, Charlie. Oh, so wags a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, so wags a lot is in the room. Yep, look at this guy. Oh, boy. Look at that tail go. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Wow. What a boy. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, Charlie. You are something. You are something. Charlie's star of the show, so Wags a lot is so happy. He is. Take care, Johnny Monday. <laughs> so Wags a lot. Someone in this chat room thought of his name. Someone in this chat room. Hang on, Joe. Okay. Does anybody remember who it was? Because I remember looking up and seeing so wags a lot, and I thought, that's perfect for Charlie. Oh, yeah. Happy Father's Day to fathers in the room. And you have been watching... Regular old fashioned Giz Fizz. Regular old fashioned Giz Fizz with Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Dick D. Bartolo, Myra Joyce, Dennis Wonderland, Jamma B, Beatmaster, uh, Lawn Dog, Heckinos, Mandy the Clown, Sly One, Caesar. Chicago Tom, Superu, uh, Rufus M. 
I'm so lost. Morgus, back NW, Tech Dino, Stooge, Magoo, Gumby, Mandy the Clown, George Davis, Scooter X, Becky, Logan 5, Jim Tez, brought to you by Turtle Rocks. Remember, it's not just for turtles anymore. See you in two weeks. Hey, chat room. Uh, chat room, Giz Wiz is going to be Wednesday again this week, okay? Thursday is a Pepcom. Looking forward to Pepcom. Uh, so, uh, so I'll be on radio next Sunday, chat room, okay? But there'll be no Giz Fizz because after Radio Sunday, we'll be this week in tech. Um, Jim Taz, yes, yeah, see you guys Wednesday. Jamma B, I'll see you Sunday. You will. Uh, not tomorrow, a week from. Okay. Sure okay. Enough. Thank you, Dick. Bye. Thank you, Alex. Yes. Thank you, everybody. See you next uh, two weeks. No, I'll see you yeah, a mean, week Fizz from wise. tomorrow. Fizz oh, wise. Alex. Okay. Alex, I'll see you in two weeks. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh, and with that. <laughs>